now. <laughs> so what you're looking at here, the big piece and then the little pieces here, these are the skin impressions of a duck-billed dinosaur. They're about 75 million years old. And what you see are the little polygonal shapes. Those are the individual scales that were in the skin and in the hide of this large reptile. So they almost look, they're, they're kind of like a little cupcake you know, forms are crimped around the edges and what they are, they're the individual scales. And actually this piece is kind of cool because here you have the positives mm -hmm. filled in and the negatives and they actually, this actually goes together. It's like a little, you know. So was that, uh, so that was the edge of the dinosaur sort of part of this is fossilized bone or? Well, there's no, there's bone in here with the skin impression. See here you have the, see all the skin impression here? See mm -hmm. all this kind of corrugated? This is all the skin impression. There's some over there. And here you have tendons. And then in some of the pieces, like that piece over there, we have part of the backbone that was with the skin. And yeah, so what must have happened, it, it's hard to explain this. We, I remember talking about this. How does this get fossilized? It's like the body, the animal dies. The um, interior of the body must have rotted out. So you must have almost had like this, this mummy and then you get sediment inside and outside and then the skin rots away and it leaves you this impression. Mm -hmm. That's one guess at exactly how it happens. But this was collected, see look at this, here's the tubercles. See that, those are, those are the individual scales from oh, the that's cool. dinosaur, yeah. How and, rare is it to find something like this? Uh, pretty rare. I mean, th this is about it for New Mexico. There are other ones known. There are, there are mummies of duck-billed dinosaurs known from um, Canada. And then, of course, there's a really famous one that hasn't been fully published called Leonardo, mm -hmm. which is, I, I know the mummies in Montana. I'm not sure. It may be from Montana. But they're not that common. And um, this was found by a student at New Mexico State University back in the 1990s. He was doing geologic work in southern New Mexico. And then he made us aware of it, and we went and collected it, and ultimately we studied it. And, and we've had it on display. It's not on display right now, but we have had it on display. Okay. So it's, it's quite an unusual fossil.